Hi and welcome to the session. I am Neha and I am going to help you with the following question. The question says, state whether the following are true or false. Justify your answer. So first of all, let's see the first part. It says, sine A plus B is equal to sine A plus sine B. So let's find out whether this statement is true or false by taking the value of A equal to 45 degrees and the value of B also equal to 45 degrees. Now, first of all, let us take the LHS of this statement which is equal to sine A plus B. So, substituting the values of A and B, we will get sine 45 degrees plus 45 degrees. That will be equal to sine 90 degrees. And we know that sine 90 degrees is equal to 1. Now let's take RHS. Here RHS is sin A plus sin B. So substituting the values of A and B, we will get sin 45 degrees plus sin 45 degrees. Now sin 45 degrees is 1 upon root 2. So this will be plus 1 upon root 2, which is equal to 2 upon root 2. That will again be equal to root 2. So here, we can see that LHS is not equal to RHS, as LHS is equal to 1 and RHS is equal to root 2. So that means the given statement sin A plus B is equal to sin A plus sin B is false. Now let's see the second part. It says the value of sine theta increases as theta increases. So here let us write the values of sine theta when theta is 0 degrees. So sine 0 is 0. For 30 degrees, sine 30 degrees is 1 upon 2. Sine 45 degrees is 1 upon root 2. Sine 60 degrees is root 3 by 2. And sine 90 degrees is 1. So here, theta is increasing from 0 to 90 degrees. Also, sine theta is increasing from 0 to 1. So that means, the value of sine theta increases with the value of theta Thus, our statement is true. Next statement says, the value of cos theta increases as theta increases. So now here, let us write the values of cos theta. Now cos 0 is 1, cos 30 is root 3 by 2, cos 45 degrees is 1 upon root 2, Cos 60 degrees is 1 by 2 and cos 90 is 0. So here as we can see that as theta increases the value of cos theta decreases from 1 to 0. That means the given statement is false. Fourth statement given to us is sine theta is equal to cos theta for all values of theta. Let's see this table which we made for the last two statements. Here, for theta equal to 0, sine theta is 0 and cos theta is 1. So that means for 0 degrees, sine theta is not equal to cos theta. For 30 degrees again, sine theta is not equal to cos theta. So when we observe all the values at different values of theta, we can see that sine theta is equal to cos theta only at the value of theta equal to 45 degrees, that is 1 by root 2. For all other values, sine theta is not equal to cos theta. So the statement that sine theta is equal to cos theta for all values of theta is not correct. That means it is false. Now the last statement is cot A is not defined for A equal to 0 degrees. 
Now we already know that tan 0 degrees is equal to 0 and cot 0 degrees will be equal to 1 upon tan 0 degrees. So that will be equal to 1 upon 0 which is not defined. So that means cot A when A is equal to 0 is not defined. So our statement is true. So with this, we finish this question and the session as well. I hope you must have enjoyed it. Goodbye, take care and have a nice day.